Welcome back to another venture with yours truly. Uh, we're actually hitting plan B, plan A. I'm supposed to be down south. Nelson Lake's chasing chamois, but the old weather was poos down there. I rolled the dice with the weather. So we're now in the car week is chasing sick of deer. It's been a pretty crazy morning. I just dropped the kids off at school. Uh, get some mods measures up for my boat. I'm gonna do some diving later on uh, the summer, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And I pick up some last minute stores on the way here, but we made it here. It's going on one o'clock, so it's time to get changed, get the pack on and head on in and find camp and hopefully, fingers crossed, find some water. After a short grind along the trek, I finally got onto my trek up the hill. She's a little bit snow damaged and a little bit overgrown, she's a bit hard to find. Lucky TJ told me to grab my Garmin. Uh, I was a little bit overconfident I was going to leave it behind, but it uh, turned out I needed it, so lucky me. It's going to be a well earned breather. We'll grind up to camp. Um, weather's looking pretty good. We've had a little bit of drizzle, which is good for the deer. Hopefully, we don't get a lot of rain overnight. We'll see what happens. We'll get up to camp anyway. Me. Just quickly put the fly up and check my gear underneath just to keep it um, dry up in case it rains. Claggers are coming in a little bit, it's not too bad. We're probably be about an hour and a half till uh, sundown. So I'll quickly shoot up the hill and um, see if he's anything around. After a couple of hours of intense glassing, we've come up with uh, nothing, nothing seen. We've had a few showers pass through. Um, we're losing light and I still need to set up camp, so I'm gonna make my way back to camp. Uh, set it up and see if we can sort out the water situation. And uh, we'll see what the morning brings. That was a slow grind down the hill, the loose terrain, slippery, made it a slow going but we made it back to camp safe and sound. I checked the water flow on the way down and um, it's flowing little to none so it's a little bit of a concern. We'll get the pack off, uh, set up camp and then we'll see what we can get out of it and then um, that'll dictate what we have for dinner. Got over just a litre left so there should be enough for tonight and tomorrow morning and if we get some of that stream that should hopefully see us through. Oh, we'll get the pack off. A short walk up the hill, managed to find some water. I dribbled at that. It was uh, filled up the hydro pack bladder, the eight liter. Been using it on my overnight missions the last few years, and I've got to say it's reliable and uh, robust. However, it was like watching uh, paint dry. It took ages. I thought about tying it up to a tree and letting it blow overnight, but I thought it'd better make hay while the sun is shining in case there's no water tomorrow. Well, it's time to head back to camp, get some tucker into us, and uh, hit the hay. Back to camp, it's a good feeling. Our old bed's already made, the jammies are ready. Now we've got some tough decisions. Uh, what's for dinner? We've got some dehydrates, got a sachet from my mate, which is a dehydrate for the army. And we got bacon, apricot crumble, and the winner is cooked breakfast. Nice and easy. That's day one done and dusted. It's gonna kick back in my Dome Mix XT Plus. Stay snug and warm and watch this movie, catch some Z's, and I'll see you in the morning. Mean. He's raw. All the last six months. Morning team is going on uh, 4.30. Still feeling a little bit tired, but that's okay. I'll get up and have a coffee. That'll sort that out. Yeah, there's a few deer walking around during the night. I um, heard them uh, whistling at me. A little bit annoying, but uh, there's some deer around, so that's cool. 
Not really surprising they happened uh, last time I was here as well. I'll get up and uh, have a bit of a brew, have some porridge, and then we'll head up the hill. Well, that was a delicious breakfast. I had a deer squealing at me, um, or whistling at me, while I was eating it. It's probably about 100 yards away. Uh, well, just try and get this pack on and uh, beat this daybreak, get up to the top, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see some. That happened uh, pretty fast, right on daybreak. It wasn't even daybreak. I spotted one uh, 270 yards up the hill. <clears throat> Ranged up, dialed up, tried to get the camera. I got the camera on it uh, initially, but then had a camera malfunction because of the low light, it wasn't quite uh, focusing. And with the history or my experience with Seeker, you don't really have much of an opportunity, so I threw that camera out the window. Jumped behind the gun, just flicked the old GoPro on and uh, took the shot. Um, the first one was walking off, a bit of a rush shot because we were still walking, it wasn't going to hold. So I had a crack, it was right on the edge. 50-50 um, whether I hit it. And then uh, watched them, watched two others run around, um, run off. So I tracked one of them and then uh, it stopped, gave me an opportunity. So I sacked that one, so definitely one, possibly two. I can see the one up there, so that's pretty cool. Outstanding result. I was going to make a couple of phone calls, pack my gear and we'll do mission recovery. We are all ready for mission recovery. I picked up my gear, going over nice and light. Going to head up the hill, get to that animal, bone it out, chuck it in the pack. Go and see if there's a second one. If there isn't, then we'll head on back. But if there is, we'll bone that one out too. Head back to the gear and head back to camp. That's the game plan. Let's get into it. I was just coming up there, shoot, it was hard work, all right. Till about double time, I was on all fours at one stage there. I just captured the, um, the animal, it's just up there on that bush. You can just see its white ass. I'm um, looking up where I shot it, and we had the first shot. I'm, uh, I'm thinking I missed the first shot and hit it on the second time. Uh, when I first looked up there, I only saw two animals, and then when, uh, after the shot, I saw the two run off. So I'm picking that I uh, missed the first shot, uh, the follow up shot was the one that did the damage. So I'll go up there, but I'll go up and double check just in case. But I'm uh, 99% sure that's what happened. We'll get into it. That's the animal there, I've just taken a couple of selfies. It's going to quickly uh, bone it out. Get in the backpack, head back down the chute, head back to the blind and head back to camp and indulge in some lunch. Mean. Coming down the hill, we had to put it in a super low gear, the old loose terrain with a bit of weight on the back. Certainly had its uh, challenges, but we made it back to uh, camp safely, so that's the main thing. So the game plan is we'll get the meat hanging up in a tree somewhere, somewhere cool hopefully, and we'll have a bit of lunch, and then we might go toddy up a, an old trek to another spot and get it ready for next time. And then we'll get back to camp and reassess the situation then. But at this stage I'm thinking, steak and movie night. Me. Well, after a bit of mahi, cut the track, tidied it up a bit, wasn't too bad to be fair. Just got out of my sweaty clothes and hung it on the clothesline. Got the boots off, got the slippers on and just chilling out enjoying this coke. Got a bit of a shower at the moment, nothing much is going to eventuate it. Just going to chill out for a bit, watch a movie and then start thinking about dinner. Well, menu. The menu for tonight is uh, back steak wrapped in bacon with some Indonesian noodles with the Indonesian marinade as flavouring. So I've just whipped it up. Going to indulge in some dinner and hopefully it's uh, me. I'm halfway through my uh, second movie, all my berry smoothie is all gone, indulged. I've had a couple of light showers and uh, darkness is upon us. 
It's just going on uh, 7 o'clock. The temperature has dropped, so I'm going to jump into the sleeping bag. Try and doze off, get some good Z's, wake up in the morning feeling charged, and pack up and head out of here. So see you in the morning. Morning, uh, morning, uh, good morning. It's just going on uh, 4.30. Been a little bit lazy this morning. Been up the last half an hour just uh, lying around. Heard a few more porks during the night, uh, which is always good to hear. And I also heard a pig squeal, so there definitely is uh, pigs in the area. I'm going to get up very shortly, have a bite to eat, get my gears on, pack the pick the camp and boost out of here. That was a slow packing process I tell you, right on daybreak, managed to organise my gear, pack it all up, pack the meat, the pack back is bursting. So it's time to get the pack on, hike on out of here, I'll turn the GPS on just in case, um, it was a bit gnarly when I was coming up, got off the track here and there, so uh, safety first and we'll make our way down to the car park. We finally made it back to the track. What a grind off that hill, I tell you. My track's a little bit overgrown and lacks a bit of maintenance. Maybe a job for uh, next time. Well, we've come to the end of another adventure. I certainly enjoyed it, I hope you did too. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank New Zealand's leading brands for getting me into the hill and out of the hill, not only with comfort, but with safety as well. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. Not too sure about this this meal. It's looking like last night's meal. Like a dog's breakfast. But anyway, we'll give it a crack. Just uh, chuck in the old Summit skillet pan by Jeep Bull. These pans are outstanding. If you haven't got one, you got to get one. Come with your own spatula. And the shape of the spatula matches the side of the pan. So when you come around, you get right to the edge. There you go made it back to the blind, I'm just going to pack my gear up and head on down to camp. I'm just packing my gear and I've actually got a tip for you. As of late I've been using the LED Lenser H7R, a really reliable robust headlamp with an easy on off button. So when you're packing it up in your pack I would recommend using the transportation lock by simply holding the button down for 8 seconds that will utilise the transportation lock and that will save you getting a flat battery wherever you're going because it's easy to turn on. And obviously to turn it off you just hold the button down for about 10 seconds and it will let you know when it's turned on again. I mean, 